As the largest energy consumer in the country, the U.S. military has a unique opportunity and incentive to prepare for a sustainable future. It's immediately obvious from the hot springs and bubbling mud pots that this space is sitting on an incredible amount of underground heat. Our focus is to develop geothermal and geothermal hybrid systems. One of the biggest geothermal power plants in the United States sits on land owned by the U.S. Navy. Overseeing that 270 megawatt resource is the Geothermal Program Office. It's a small group of geoscientists interested in spreading the technology to other military bases. Because of the nature of the industry, we may be the leaders in, in exploration. The military would like to develop power, or they'd certainly like to augment their needs through the development of indigenous resources, wind, solar, geothermal. In addition to powering the base, the plant also produces excess electricity to sell to the grid. The project generates an annual profit of $14 million. This installation's success, plus the military's interest in energy security and clean technology, has renewed enthusiasm for geothermal power. It may be that a 30 megawatt system could, if augmented with concentrated solar power, CSP, or something to that effect, maybe you could develop 80 megawatts of a geothermal hybrid system. But that doesn't make it an easy sell. What we've said recently when we've knocked on the door a lot of these bases is, you know, even though we think you may have geologically, you may have the potential for 10, 20, 30 megawatts of power, uh, the fact is if you're going to tie up X number of acres to develop a resource. Because we're talking about the most secure complexes in the country, the commanders in charge of these military bases are cautious about any incursions onto their territory. In our small office, what we'd like to do is just find another resource, Let's get into the bases, um, be very systematic, very efficient with our exploration efforts, and drill, get an independent power producer or someone like that to come in and try to develop the power and put it on the grid. Hopefully in a couple years, um, we'll have done that. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Sandra Upson.